You've been in baseball quite a while. Have you seen anything quite like the run that you guys have had the last four days? You know, as I've told them before, it's not really how you start, it's how you finish. And that's kind of what's been happening. You know, as you go through this thing, we didn't sweep anybody this year, even in non-conference, but we never got swept by anybody either. So what happened was, if you can show that you can at least beat a team one out of three games, it shows your players that you're capable of beating them. So being able to beat Rice and Southern Miss and some of those teams at least once made the difference right there, I think. What was the turn? Was the turning point? You go back to last Thursday, the first game of the road trip against Rice, and you and you take them down pr pretty handily. Did something click right then and there with this team, or did, was it just going into the tournament? What was there something that you flash back and say that was okay? We put it together. Right. Well, you know, Rice was 22 and eight. They won the regular season again for the 20th year in a row. They've either won the regular season, the conference term, or both 20 years in a row. That's a pretty good run right there. And to beat them 11 to one, the opening game made a big difference. I think that gave our guys added confidence in what their abilities were. And even though we didn't play well in the doubleheader on Saturday, we lost three, two, seven, four, both games were close. So we still were within striking distance of beating them either one of those games, or if not both games. Coach, uh, in, in, in all your years of coaching, have, is it the most fun to sit there and watch and know your team is such in a zone that doesn't matter who you're playing? You're, you're going out there with the, uh, the two games where you scored 15 runs back-to-back, uh, -back, and you get into the, in the, in the final. You had two rain delays, but you score four in the first, and you just carry that momentum. Is that the most kind of fun part of your job when you watch your team just execute like nobody can stop you? Well, it is, and I think you're very cognizant in that question that you that you asked me because that's kind of how we felt after things got going and beat Rice that first game. Again, added confidence in what we can do and then got off to a good start against the UTSA. Some guys swung the bat well. And when you have two run delays, that saves you four innings of pitching along the way in the middle. But it is a good feeling to know that you can score some runs because the teams that win tournaments in the NCAA baseball always can score runs. If you can't score runs, you're not going to win tournaments. And Coach, let's talk about the uh, regional. You're paired with the University of Miami, Coral Gables, so you get to stay close to home so the fans and, and parents and everybody can come out and support FIU in the Coral Gables regional. Let's talk about uh, the, the task that how are you going to prepare your guys to not get caught up in the moment and just relax and play FIU baseball when they're playing a team that uh, you haven't, the FIU hasn't played in seven years. Right. Well, you know, they're excited about playing them. Um, and, you know, obviously they're a great program. They've been so for many years, 43 years in a row, regionals. Jim Morris over there does a tremendous job, as the staff does. Um, and so, you know, I coached there for 12 years, so I know the place pretty well. And it'll be, you know, just like any of these teams. Everybody's a champion that's out there right now, all 64 teams. And it's just how well you play at the time, how well you pitch to try to hold down a very good offense that they've got and being able to maybe solve the starting pitcher and any relievers that come in the game and try to be able to hit them. So we hope we can do that and continue the path that we've had here for the last five days. Coach, how much fun are you having right now? Well, I think all the way home about 13 hours on the bus from Hattiesburg, other than about an hour of sleeping time, I think I had a smile on my face all the way through. So. Very happy for our players, especially happy for guys that are the seniors like Julius Gaines have been here four years, never gone to a regional. Uh, Josh Anderson, three years, never gone to a regional. Uh, Edwin Rios, three years, never gone to a regional. Brian Portelli being a senior, never gone to a regional. So it's real special in particular for the whole program and every player on our team, but especially those older guys who also played so well in the conference tournament.